Hey, what up? It's Tech here. Going to redo the Streamlabs app um, that I did before. So you can use um, Streamlabs on your mobile device to broadcast games and so forth. So open this up. on Google Play obviously for Android iOS people um, you can download it some games may not work but it's worth a try and as you can see you can do Twitch YouTube or Mixer so let's do YouTube all right let's pause it here in a moment okay I have to sign in so I'll be back Okay, and after you log in and then just hit yes to authorize it um, This is the first screen the default screen These will be you know your widgets. These are the um, ones that are automatically defaulted selected I'm gonna stick with those uh, I'm gonna take the camera off here in a moment because it has to overtake my camera to display stuff Enable camera and mic, so camera's about to go off. Okay, what's up? And uh, as you can see, these are the default three widgets that I showed at the beginning. And we are in the uh, editor screen. So, start out right here. Press this, editor. Um, you can resize them click them you know they are enabled by the brackets the alert box you don't want big that's for you know all your pop-up alerts um, every, everything else again those need to be set up on the website the event list is basically the alert box but it uh, stays on screen, but well, you can't have it stay on screen. And you go to the top right icon. Actually, no, let's go back. Sorry, bottom right, little little, uh, little green thing. And if you notice, it's checked. Those three it says on stream, so they will appear on stream for the viewers now if I click on preview I'm gonna go back to where we were and you'll notice well the event list will pop up chat won't because chat isn't happening um, to test your notifications you can go to the bell up here in the top right corner it will bring up all your recent events and everything mine shows twitch because it, like I said uh, or I believe I said I do twitch also so let's do the separated atom just hit this little thingy go back to my screen all right and that is the custom GIF font, colors, and everything that I set up on the actual website. You can test them all. Redemptions, music player. Uh, the music player is set up. You, you can, uh, it's again set up on the website. Redemptions is like points and stuff. It's through one of the Twitch extensions. I don't think that may work on here. Pulls and giveaways. Pretty uh, straightforward. Live actions. Again, pretty straightforward. Some things I can't show because it will stop this um, recording. You click on the um, three dots next to the bell. 
switch camera, so you can switch it to um, the front camera if you have one. But you know, this is going to be based on you know how to do gameplay, which I will get to. But it, it um, same thing applies if you want to do like IRL, you know, vlogging, whatever. Camera enhance, it's a bunch of different features. And full preview is just going to be you know full screen. Go back to the editor, and if you want to add more wid uh, widgets, click that uh, green button. And as you can see, the jar, which is um, basically like a glass or something that shows it's on screen that someone, you know, bids, followers, subscribers, you know, look, look little gems or whatever will fall into it. Donations, uh, end credits, which is like a credit screen like a movie. Stream boss, which I can show you that. And if you notice, I am checking on preview. Preview is so I can actually show you. Uh, it is recommended when you actually are streaming to uncheck on preview. Um, basically, what will, what will happen is you will not be able to see it but the viewers will and that will just cut down on resources on your device i'm just going to do it to show you as you see oh damn it it's a new box this one we can make pretty small Size that okay, and then again, let's see. You, you know, you can do other ones, add custom URL. That's if you had like a overlay made or so forth. And this is actually pretty cool. Click the plus button and then add whatever. And as you see, it disables a little pen icon for editing the name. And there's, uh, you know, plus symbol down here. If you click that, if you notice it says Streamlabs Library. And this is actually pretty cool. Um, a lot of these I really can't show, I mean, they really won't work with mobile because. For instance, uh, like, okay, the dollar sign one, that's for donation, so, I mean, if you already have stream labels, or, you know, a donation thing set up, then, okay, but again, you have to do that on the website, and then you'll have to layer it on the screen, which, I will show you this one, and then if you want to add another one, you just click the plus symbol again, you can choose from your device if you have something. Let's click back, and as you notice, the green box, okay? Trash can, red trash can is obviously delete. Circle, that is just, you know, the aspect ratio. And then you can lock it so it only moves, you know, in one direction. Or you can uh, do a free aspect ratio. So what I'm going to do is actually put this by the event list. Just to show you briefly, I'm going to make it too perfect. Try to do the best I can. Okay, it's in there. I'm just going to press the back arrow again. As you see, it is there. Again, sometimes it takes a second for stuff to appear. Now you see the stream boss. Now, if for some reason you do not like that graphic, if you do not see whatever it is that, like, you do this, for instance, you do the same thing, you do not see that. 
go back into the editor and click on the, in the top right the very first icon which is the layers and as you see that is below everything it's just like Photoshop like stacks of paper so and it's it's a um, <clears throat> transparent so if I, <clears throat> excuse me if I were to put that above the event list it would hide it and which you can just move them by clicking on the you know hold and dragging on the uh, side so it's just a good thing to know and again, it takes a second. This is why it's best to uh, disable off preview, which would take it, the views off of here. And basically, the um, settings. The only thing to worry about in here, because you know, we selected YouTube, it's going to default to whatever you selected. So you have to worry about not, none of that. The only thing I would mess with, and this is, you know, personal preference, your output resolution, your frame rate, and no matter what, I mean, I would highly suggest your max video bit rate, because that's your bandwidth, your upload speed. I would put it at 1500 to 2500. When I stream from my Xbox, PC, etc. I put mine at 25 to uh, 3,000. You know, so that way uh, viewers on mobile can watch also, and it's pretty smooth. Okay, so basically that's how you do it. Um, now, if you, uh, this is how easy it is. If you want to start a game, you click on the top right. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to show you the game play because you know recording etc and the stream would take it would just would not allow it the first button it's like a little arrow pointing to the right click that and it, just like it says it will start capturing everything in your screen okay so as soon as you do that it will start you know it will capture and allow you to you know go to your uh, home screen app drawer etc and so forth and then start streaming click that red button down there and you're good to go so i hopeful hope this was helpful i know the first video was i, I did it while i was streaming so it really it was like a half-assed tutorial to be honest so this is a little bit more in-depth so you know Showed you how to do graphics, you know, the ones that are built built in. Um, oh, one more thing, notifications, sound. If for some reason you're not hearing the sound, well, number one, make sure your, your device is turned up. Your main sound, okay. Click on the notif that bell icon again. Go to your recent events, and in the uh, top right, that speaker icon, make sure those little, you know, the, like radio wave things are coming out of it. So you want to make sure that those are like that. If it's like that, it's not going to, you know, be that loud or it may, you know, emit no noise. So make sure that is like that and make sure the, um, the middle icon, the play symbol thing is the exact way it is otherwise it um, won't show the um, notifications when they do come through so that is about it hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please drop a like and share i'll see you guys later thank you for watching